This video is sponsored by Noom, who believes that lasting weight loss starts in your brain. Go to noom.com slash Taohun to take your free 30 second quiz to see if Noom is right for you. So when I first saw these, I was like, oh man, Samsung should have done a matte finish. They would have looked so cool. But then I realized they would literally look like mini eggs. Hi everyone, Ta here. The Galaxy Buds 2 are the latest true wireless earbuds from Samsung. That's right, we got another one. These join the Buds Pro and Buds Live to round out Samsung's current wireless earbud lineup. Now, looks are subjective, so I'll leave it up to you to decide which out of the three looks best. If you're curious, I think I like how the Buds 2 look in my ears the best, but it might just be that I absolutely love this colorway. Now, looks aside, the Buds 2 feature a smaller form factor. One of the problems with the Buds Pro was that when I smiled or yawned, they would slowly slide out of my ear. That doesn't happen with the Buds 2. The shape and size just fits my ears more snug and they don't stick out as much. I'll put it this way, if I'm going out for a workout or to do something active, I'd grab the Buds 2 over the Lives or Pros because they're way less likely to fall out. Even though these don't have a wingtip, I'm actually surprised how well they stayed in. I do get some ear fatigue after a couple hours though. These feel like they sit a tiny bit deeper in my ears. The Buzz 2 also have active noise cancellation to help block out distracting background noise. Call me crazy, but I actually think they do a better job than the Buds Pro. I'm gonna bet it's thanks to the better seal. Obviously, it's not gonna cancel out every single sound. I mean, no earbuds do that. It does a really good job of blocking out the hum from my air purifier, for example, but does pretty much nothing to the clicks from my keyboard. When I'm outside, it does a decent job muffling cars and other street noises too. Ambient mode, which helps keep you aware of your surroundings, works pretty good. You've got a choice between low, medium, and high. High literally makes you feel like you have super hearing. It's really trippy. You gotta try it for yourself. If you go into the accessibility settings, you can actually turn on even more customization for ambient mode. It separates the volume per ear and lets you adjust the tone. The soft setting kind of muffles everything, whereas clear emphasizes my voice more. I really like the clear mode because if I'm using ambient sound, I'm likely talking to someone and being able to hear myself clearly helps make sure that I'm not yelling at them. This is even more true when I'm on a phone call, so really glad they added that option. If it's windy out though, you're gonna wanna turn off ambient sound because all that wind noise gets pumped right into your ears. So this is what the mics on the Buzz 2 sound like. While you guys check that out, I gotta give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, Noom. Noom is a program that helps people lead healthier lives. They do this through personalized behavior change that focuses on building healthy lifelong habits. The idea is to not only change how you eat, but also how you think. You see, growing up, I haven't always had a good relationship with food. No one really taught me how to eat, so it became a crutch at times. I love that Noom is reframing how I look at all aspects of food through articles and daily lessons. For example, I've become more mindful of my food portions, like a fist for grains and a deck of cards for lean protein. Their color system has also helped me understand the different food decisions I'm making throughout the day and how they impact my goals. You'll also get access to a real human coach to help keep you on track. Learning, not dieting, is what leads to real lasting change. So visit noom.com slash or check the link below to take your free 30 second quiz to see if Noom is right for you. I tested the Buds 2 with several different phones, including an iPhone using Tidal Hi-Fi. It's not a massive difference, but they sound slightly better paired with a Samsung phone. They don't get quite as loud or as immersive as the Buds Pro, but still super enjoyable. If the Pros are a nine, I would rate these a seven and a half to eight-ish in terms of sound quality. I listen to a lot of 2000s hip hop and R&B and absolutely love strong vocals from people like Jojo, Jaheem, and Maxwell. I've had several jam sessions with the Buds 2 and I gotta say, they sound really solid. Oh, and don't forget to try out the built-in preset equalizers when you first get them to see which you like best. Normal or dynamic are probably my favorites. The touch controls are pretty standard at this point for Samsung earbuds. You can turn off certain controls if you don't use them or always trigger them by accident. 
a long press can be set to bring up your phone's voice assistant or switch between ANC and ambient sound. You could also set it to volume controls, but the best thing to do is just turn on this feature in the labs menu. Now, you can just double tap the back of your ear like this to adjust volume, the right side for volume up and the left side for volume down. When it comes to battery life, you're looking at around five hours on the earbuds and another 15 in the case. That's with active noise canceling. If you keep ANC off, you'll stretch that to seven and a half hours on the buds. So that should be very close to getting you through a full workday. If it does die on you, there is some quick charging tech to get you back to your music as quickly as possible. Listen, it's no secret that Samsung is working on building an ecosystem, and a big part of that is making their products work better together. Seamless connection is one of the features on the Buds 2 that you'll only be able to experience if you own multiple Samsung products. Basically, the Buds 2 can switch automatically between a Galaxy tablet, phone, and smartwatch, depending on whatever you happen to be using at that moment. Let's say you're watching a movie and receive a phone call. The Buds 2 will automatically switch over to your phone. Once you're done with the call, it'll automatically switch back to the tablet. I found auto switching to the Galaxy Watch a little less reliable. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. But the good news is that it just takes a simple tap to get the Buds paired up and ready to go. Another Samsung exclusive feature is gaming mode. I wasn't really impressed in the past with this, but they must have tweaked things because it really does cut down on the sound delay when you're playing games. I think a lot of people are going to be wondering if the pros are worth the extra money. And yeah, the Buzz Pro are definitely more feature packed. You get an IPX7 water resistance rating instead of IPX2, it supports 360 audio, and it has that fancy voice detect feature that will automatically switch the earbuds to ambient mode when it detects your voice. I won't lie, those are some nice features. With that being said, fit is king, and the Buds 2 will probably fit more comfortably in most people's ears, thanks to its smaller shape and size. The design also isn't as flashy, so they'll blend in more for everyday use. You could definitely find cheaper options on the market, but Samsung's wearable app and handy phone widget really improved the experience. Overall, these are solid. As usual, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.